as the man made his first hop in the air, he in fact ventured into the unknown territory. He started his journey with expectations, and learned the mechanics of flight through trial and error. Even today when a test pilot takes his machine to the air, he carries with him expectations, probabilities, and a bag full of fears of failure. As the quest for knowledge of the aviation vehicles matured into a formal subject, the man devised procedures to ensure that the machine performs in a predictable manner. He devised these procedures after having experienced a series of failures, and he also prepared a set of emergency procedures to counter such failures. Indeed, procedures in aviation provide predictable performance, so that, if things do not happen, as was desired, the operator can monitor the variation and apply alternate or emergency procedures to manage the situation. Since, these procedures create situations which provide choices, thus warranting that pilots should make the right choices. This act of choosing between options is commonly referred to as decision-making, and a series of decisions result in a measure of performance. We know that human beings are reactionary beings. They perform in response to some stimulus. This stimulus can be sensed through any of the sensory mechanisms, such as eyes, ears, nose, etc. This acquired stimulus becomes information, which is carried through human information processing system commonly known as memory. Based on processing of this information, a person develops a cognitive perception by correlating this information with past learning of similar nature. This perception helps him in making an assessment of the prevailing situation, and then he makes a judgment. This judgment is an opinion or perception about the nature of the stimulus, its spatial context, and the consequential significance. It then helps him in making an appropriate choice, commonly known as decision-making. Then, he acts upon the choice by using the motor skills, which eventually determines his performance. In this entire scheme of interrelated activities, the efficient information processing or memory functions, and the ability to make a choices and act upon them, are affected by some of the external factors, such as stress, fatigue, attitude, emotions, and desires. From this model, we find that decision-making has a pivotal position in the schematic process of human performance. However, despite extensive efforts made by the aviation industry to design systems and formulate procedures for ensuring safe and efficient operations, the errors in pilots' decision-making continue to occur and contribute to cause a variety of accidents.